Hi everybody from our Basil Rudder Field in Scott Riggs and Family Stadium at Athens High School. This is what we've been waiting for, the 9-0 Nelsonville York Buckeyes, the 9-0 Athens Bulldogs. People. Chance Fox on camera, Ray Spouts, Jim McCumber here on Nelsonville TV Cables Channel 15. People have been talking about it all season long, anticipating this outcome and uh, at the end of the season looking for these two teams to be 9-0. And they did not disappoint. Both have had excellent seasons. And it's all on the line here tonight, Jim. The excitement's in the air here oh. at Athens High School. Two 9-0 teams. Of course, of course, both teams 4-0 in the Ohio Division of the TVC. The winner of this game wins the championship outright. They both have clinched playoff spots. And, of course, with a win here tonight for either team, they would host definitely host next week. And here come the Buckeyes of Nelson, New York. Boy, you can see it in the enthusiasm in the team there, Jim. They are fired up out there tonight. They are ready to play this ball game. We're about a minute 40 away from kickoff. The Buckeyes will be receiving the opening kickoff tonight. As they have throughout the entire season. They've been able to have the receiving side of the ball to start the game in the previous nine games of the season. Now starting the 10th game should uh, bode well for them in that fa fashion. Still waiting for the Bulldogs to make their entrance. Well, we got a great crowd on hand though, Jim. You look over the other side of the field and the stands are full. On that side, there's people standing everywhere. There's not a seat left on our side of the field. It's absolutely exactly what uh, the bill was here. Everybody expected a huge turnout and a huge crowd to support both teams and that's what you got here. You know, when you've got two teams that are undefeated in Athens County playing for the TVC Ohio Championship, it doesn't come along that often. So a lot of the football fans that may not be the diehard week in and week out football fans are even excited about this game. Everybody's been talking about it everywhere you go around the area. Of course, a lot of people coming to this game instead of going to their own game exactly. to see this one. Well, you know, you started to point out the fact that they're both 4-0 in TVC play. But when you start comparing the statistics for those four games, it's remarkable how close in statistics they actually are. They both averaged 369 offensive yards. That defensively, they gave up a within a, I believe it was 1477 one. Was it they, they had total yards, 1477 and 1474. I mean, it's that close. Just three yards difference. It's amazing when you start looking at common opponents like that, how well they match up against each other here. Of course, last week, Nelsonville York defeated Alexander at Alexander 53 0, while Athens took care of Walston 36 7 to get to this 9 0 game between both teams. Well, it's going to be interesting to see. The keys of the game, obviously, Jim, whenever you have teams that are this evenly matched up, you're going to have situations that are going to dictate the outcome. It, turnovers are going to be big in tonight's ball game. Field position is going to be big in tonight's ball game. And uh, every little element of the game is going to come into play tonight. Bulldogs making their way to the field across the way. Of course, Athens wearing their home green jerseys. The Buckeyes wearing their away white. Last year, Nelsonville York won in a thriller, 28-27 at Boston Field. And then two years ago, right here at our Basil Rudder Field, Nelsonville York won another nail-biter, 14-13. Yeah, that's one that uh, the Bulldogs would have liked to have had back. They, they thought they had that ball game, I would have figured. but. The Buckeyes come out, like you said, in the last two ball games. Only two points separate these teams. The season is on the line here for the Buckeyes and the Bulldogs, both looking to go 10-0 tonight and see who can pull it off. It's going to be a battle that, uh, like you said, everybody's been looking forward to. It'll be interesting to see how the uh, ability of the Buckeyes, to, due to the fact that they don't have to play both ways, their overall stamina as the night wears on, how fresh they're able to stay and to see if the Bulldogs can match that intensity for the entire four quarters. Of course, this game also for the Doc Kroner Traveling Trophy. 
the series. Buckeyes lead the all-time series 20-11 over Athens. Nelson York has won the last seven, and the Buckeyes have won 18 of the last 20 of, against the Bulldogs. We're about ready to kick her off and get things going now, Jim. Buckeyes with Dustin Young and Garrison Breeze back deep to receive the opening kickoff. Again, the Buckeyes will be receiving to begin this game. Well, like I said, that, that's the philosophy the coaching staff has gone with all year, and it's been successful all year long. They like to get the ball first, put the pressure on the other team. And a flag comes in. We may have delay of game on the Bulldogs. And it will be a five mark yard mark off against Athens. Don't see that very often at the beginning of a ball game, a delay of game before things even get started. Bulldogs will kick it away to get this game underway. Here at Athens High School. The approach and the kick. Coming to Dustin Young. Takes it at the 20, the 25, 30. Dustin Young takes it out to the 47 yard line. Buckeyes with excellent field position to begin tonight's game. And you can just hear the overall enthusiasm in this stadium, Jim. It's electrifying both sides of this field our people on their feet they're screaming they're hollering from the very beginning i love this atmosphere dustin young busts through the hole almost is able to break it gets out across the 45 just excellent field position to start out tonight's ball game nathan dean at quarterback for the buckeyes he's thrown for 1571 yards 101 of 152. austin north comes in motion to this side handoff dustin young right side and Young will take it to the 49. A flag comes in, a gain of two. Looks like it might be a sideline warning on Athens. So the Buckeyes pick up two yards to bring up second down and eight. Well, you know, Dustin Young, he's rushed for 1,574 yards on 159 carries. I was just going to say the same thing. You just mentioned Nathan throwing for 1,500 yards. And Dustin's run for 1,500 yards. Just phenomenal diversity on this offense for the Buckeyes. Buckeyes out of the eye on second and eight from their own 49. Freer comes in motion to this side. Dean back to pass. He throws, and it is caught by Clint Handa. And Handa's close to a first down at the Athens 46. He'll be about two yards shy. See where they spot it. Actually, he'll be about three yards shy of a first down. It's third and three. Yeah, they get him about five yards on the catch. And again, you know, that's the, one of the things you'll notice, and I talk about it all season long, um, the different weapons they have. There you go, Handa out of the backfield. Catching the first pass. Buckeyes two receivers to the right, out of the eye. Third and three at the Athens 46. Handoff Dustin Young. And he's hit and dropped at the 44. The Buckeyes will be a yard shy of a first down. Fourth and one. Let's see if the Buckeyes will go for it. It's a long one yard, but it does look like they're lining up to go for this. Buckeyes are going for it on fourth and one at the Athens 44. Buckeyes out of the eye, two receivers split out wide right. Wow, early in the ball game, a big fourth down play right now. Freer in motion to this side. Handoff Dustin Young, he's got the first down for the Buckeyes at the 40 of Athens. The gain of three, they spotted at the 41. 
Brought down that time, it looked to be number 12 uh, of the Bulldogs. Schwartzel on the tackle that time, along with about three or four other Bulldogs. But like you said, it was enough for uh, Dustin to power through there and get that first down. 10 minutes to play in the first quarter. This is the initial drive of this game. Buckeyes out of the eye. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Beam back to pass, throws, and it is caught by Garrison Bree. And he's gonna be knocked out of bounds around the 23 yard line, a gain of about 18. Nice pass play out to Garrison Breeze around the right side that time. And then Garrison did a nice job of turning up field and getting some strong yardage. Nice positive uh, yardage after getting that first down on the fourth down play for the Buckeyes offense. Now able to throw the ball, five plays, three running plays, two rush or two throwing. It, that's the diversity we see. Uh, he's thrown to two different players already in Handa and uh, Breeze. Dean out of the shotgun. Throws, Daniel Klein pulls it in. Ball and looked like it might have scored it out. And let's see if it did. And it is Athens football. It has ruled a fumble. And the Bulldogs have recovered around their own 17. Let's see where they spot it. So the first big turnover of the ball game goes to the Bulldogs. And uh, that's one of the things that the Bulldogs are extremely successful. And you look at the statistics across the season for the Bulldogs, and they get turnovers almost every game in the bunches. So Athens starts out on their own 17. First down and 10. Skinner is quarterbacking. Handoff around the left side. The Buckeyes right there. It'll be a gain of two to the 19. It was Schwartzel around the left side that time for the Bulldogs, brought down by Kyle on the, Kyle Moore on the far side over there. And Dakota Hook in there also for the tackle. Second down and eight. Athens on their own 19 yard line. Michael Germano now at quarterback for Athens. Devon Sharp at tailback for the Bulldogs. Handoff goes to Sharp. And he's going to cross the 25 to about the 26. It'll bring up third and short for the Bulldogs. Perkins and Hook on the stop that time defensively for the Buckeyes. Third down and about one for Athens. Athens on their own 26. 8.40 to play in the first quarter, no score. Well, it's one of the things I was talking about. The turnovers are going to be key in tonight's ball game when you've got two teams as evenly as this. Hand off to Sharp on the left side. He bounced it outside. And he's got the first down and more. It looked like the Buckeyes had him bottled up short of a first down, but he bounces it outside and gets the first down. That's exactly what happened there. He was bottled up on the inside, and like you said, he bounced out very effectively to get out to the outside. He gets a strong 18-yard run. Athens first and 10 on their own 44. Michael Germano at quarterback for Athens, out of the shotgun. A couple receivers on each side. Man comes in motion to this side. Handoff goes to Sharp, but whistles blow the play dead. Might back the Bulldogs up five yards here. A legal procedure on Athens. They make it first and 15 for the Bulldogs on their own 39. Nice and cool evening here tonight, Jim. I'm hoping the rain to stay away as the, right before the game it was raining uh, decent out here, keeping everybody nice and chilled, I would say, but right now it's staying away. First and 15 for Athens on their own 39. Germano at quarterback, man in motion to this side. It's Chris Russell. Pitch out comes to Devon Sharp. And Sharp will take it out to the 45 yard line. He gets it back to the original line of scrimmage. Bobby Lightwine brings him down that time as Mello on the defensive end did a nice job of forcing 
sharp to turn up field. That's like you just saw in that other uh, long run he had. You don't want to let him get to the ends or to the outside that time. Uh, Mello did a nice job of turning him inside and uh, Bobby taking him down. Second down and 10 for Athens on their own 45 yard line. 7.48 to play in the opening quarter, no score. Russell in motion to this side. Hand off to Sharp to this side, breaks the tackle, takes it into Buckeye territory to about the 47 yard line where to bring up third down and short for Athens. Covert brings him down, but like you said, not until he gets uh, about eight yards on the carry. Devon did a nice job that time of uh, getting over top of uh, some blocks and stuff there early, finding himself free for some positive yardage there. Third and short again for the Bulldogs. Third down and about one for Athens at the Buckeye 47 out of the I formation. Jamano at quarterback, hands it to Sharp. And he's going to be brought down shy of a first down. It may be a loss of about a half yard. Perkins and Hook, along with uh, Covert, Kuhn, and uh, Neil Pauley. I think the whole, whole defensive squad got in there that time. Nice job by the Buckeyes defense to stand strong on a third and short. So now it's fourth and two after the one yard loss. Buckeyes with Garrison Breeze back deep to receive the punt. Now they've, they've been talking about this with the staff all week. The uh, lineup for the Bulldogs and their punt team is the same as their offense and they can run out of this. Flag comes in and the Buckeyes will let it bounce. Picked up by Bobby Lightwine and he's dropped at the 19. Again, a flag is down. We have a legal motion on Athens. The Buckeyes may decline that. They have I it on their we, own 19 yard line. I was gonna say, we'll take that at the 19, 20 yard line, forget it. And they're gonna bring right. it back. They are bringing it back. Now that surprised me. I thought the Buckeyes would stand tall there, but coaches wants to wanna to back them up and do it again. So the penalty has been declined. <laughs> has been declined. So the Buckeyes will take over on their own 19. 6.08 to play in the first quarter, no score. Here at Athens High School. Well, both teams have had the ball once. Both teams have had uh, an opportunity to move down the field. The Buckeyes actually stopped themselves uh, coming up with a the fumble there in the first series. But the defense was able to hold strong, and the Bulldogs unable to get uh, the drive beyond there. Got around about the 45, 42-yard line there. So it'll be interesting now. You've had both teams had offensive series. Both teams have had a defensive series. See who settles into their game a little more effectively now that we are uh, six minutes to go here in the first quarter. Buckeyes first and 10 on their own 19. Nathan Dean under center at quarterback. Man comes in motion, it's north. Quick pitch, Dustin Young to this side. Somehow he breaks the feet. tackle and good positive yardage for Dustin Young. Dustin was able to put that hand down and keep his feet underneath him and like you said, got out there close to the 26 yard line it looks like. Picks up about six, brings up second and four. You put it right at the 25. Jacob Perkins comes in with the Buckeye play on the second and four situation. Buckeyes on their own 25. The receiver split out on each side. Nelson Blue York out of the eye. Dustin Young on the right side, breaks a tackle oh, and the ball is loose. And Athens has recovered at the Buckeye 37 yard line. Number six that time recovers the ball, Tyler McIntosh, defensively for the Bulldogs. And so right now the Buckeyes uh, falling into the prey of the Bulldogs where they have consistently, like I said, forced turnovers in all their games up to this point. And the Buckeyes first two series, two fumbles. We give the Buckeyes a short field here as they've got the ball on their own 32 yard line this time. Of course, Dustin Young, 159 carries on the season. He's just fumbled it twice, but that's the third one. And Athens, first down and 10. The Buckeye 31 pass and it's caught. He breaks a tackle. 
And he's going to take it in for That's the touchdown. Schwartzel for the touchdown. For Skyler him. Schwartzel. So the Bulldogs hit pay dirt after the Buckeye turnover. And they score first and lead 6-0. Well, that's one of the things the Buckeyes wanted to try to stay away from is turning the ball over and allowing Athens to get on the board first and get the momentum on their side here at home. And that's obviously uh, the way the Bulldogs would have loved to script things up and uh, going in their favor early in the ball game. Bulldogs attempting the extra point. And it's up. The whistles blow the play dead. There is a flag down. Illegal procedure on Athens. So they'll mark it back five yards to the eight yard line. Bulldogs will attempt the extra point once again. And the kick is up. Looks and the good. kick is good. So with 5.48 to play in the first quarter, Athens leads 7 0. Buckeyes with Dustin Young back deep, along with Garrison Breeze and Austin North. And the kick will come to Garrison Breeze. Across the 25, the 30, and it's taken down at the 36 yard line. Nice return by Breeze. Garrison did a nice job of holding onto that ball as uh, he got spun around. And that's another opportunity usually to see the ball pop out of the runner's hands. Devon or Devin Mulford on the stop number 56 for the Bulldogs that time. As the Buckeyes now have the ball starting at their own 36 yard line. Third offensive series here for the Buckeyes and like we've talked already, the first two series ended in fumbles. The Buckeyes would like to be able to hold on to this ball and drive down and tie this score back up. Play action, Dean back to pass, throws, and a flag comes in for interference. Buckeyes going to Kyle Freer, the intended receiver. Sure-handed Kyle Freer. He's been uh, solid for the Buckeyes all season long. One of the uh, receivers that Nathan has found to be very comfortable coming across the middle, typically. Pass interference on Athens. Fifteen yard penalty. Buckeyes first and ten at the Athens 49. Bulldogs up seven nothing. And as I mentioned, Kyle's had 29 catches on the season, so he's one Nathan likes to look for. Quick slant, and it's dropped. It passes in. No, they're calling. They're calling, they're calling it a, a catch and a fumble. I didn't think he ever had the ball. I don't think he ever had the ball either, actually. But that's going to go down as the third fumble for Nelsonville York here in the first quarter. I'm with you, Jim. I don't believe he ever actually caught the ball. He was trying to bring that ball in when it was, he was hit, and the ball came popping out before he ever had possession of the ball. I'm, I am amazed they actually gave that ball over to the Bulldogs. So they'll take over on their own 35 yard line. Third fumble for the Buckeyes here in the first six and a half minutes of this game. Well, it's up to the defense yet again to uh, stand strong here. Hand off to Russell, breaks a tackle and breaks another tackle, but this time he will go down. Nice hard running by Russell. Look like he's gonna get nothing, but he picks up about three yards on the play. Second down and seven. I think Bobby Lightwine finally got credit for the tackle as there was a handful of Buckeyes in there making that stop. But like you said, I, the Buckeyes here with, within just the first seven minutes of the ball game have three fumbles 
And that's the story of the game so far. Bulldogs, two receivers to the right, one to the left. Germano throws, and it's pulled in by Schwartzel. And he's going to be dropped right around the 44-yard line, maybe 43. Covert comes over, makes a nice hit there in the open field. As, as you can see, Schwartzel, once he catches the ball, he's a very shifty runner. Third down and one. Third down and one for Athens on their own 44-yard line. Bulldogs out of the eye. Devon Sharp at tailback. Option comes to this side. Pitch out to Sharp. And he'll dive forward. And he may have the first down. Let's see where they spot. I'd say he did get the first down. Bobby Lightwine read that perfectly, got back there, but Devon Sharp did a nice job of cutting inside, and then North Austin came up and just made a great hit on him. It was a first down for the Bulldogs on their own 46. Athens leading 7-0, 3.58 to play in the opening quarter. Devon's going to feel that hit for a while. Austin put a nice lick on him. Bulldogs out of the eye. Michael Germano, quarterback, handoff to the fullback, and he'll take it out to the 49-yard line. Mitch Ryder on the carry. Kuhn on the stop that time defensively for the Buckeyes. His Ryder gets strong yardage there again. Gain of about four brings up second down and six for Athens at the 50. Athens, two receivers to the left out of the eye. Germano at quarterback, back to pass, rolls to the far side, throws, and it is caught by Skyler Schwartzel. And he pulls it in down at the 36-yard line of Nelsonville, York. First down and 10, Bulldogs. About 14 yards on the pass play that time as Germano has obviously found a comfort, comfort zone with Schwartzel there. Schwartzel finds his way open. Hook was making a nice push into the backfield to try to put some pressure on Germano, but he wasn't able to get there in time, and Germano turns and delivers a strike. Bulldogs leading 7-0, and they have a first down and 10 at the Buckeye 36. Athens out of the eye, two receivers to the right. Pitch out. Devon Sharp, he's looking to throw. He does so, and Skyler Schwartzel pulls it in for an Athens first down at the Buckeye 26 yard line. Or pardon me, 21, 21 yard line. They'll spot it at the 22 of Nelsonville York, first down and 10 Athens. Well, they've completed four passes and all four of them have been to uh, Schwartzel so far as he's finding ways to get open and find the open spot in the defensive uh, secondary of the Buckeyes so far. Bulldogs, a receiver on each side out of the eye. And the whistles blow the play dead. We may have offsides on Nelsonville York. That's against the Buckeyes. Offsides on the Buckeyes, so it'll be first and five for Athens at the 17. Buckeyes defense wants to try to find a way to stop this drive and not allow these Bulldogs into the end zone right now. The Buckeyes uh, all season long have not been down by two scores. Bulldogs, two receivers on each side. Germano out of the shotgun as Sharp goes in motion. Rolls to the left, throws, and it is caught, and the Bulldogs down around the five-yard line of the Buckeyes. First and goal from right there. Devon Sharp on the catch that time. They'll spot it at the six-yard line where it's first and goal for the Bulldogs. Oh, 
128 to play in the opening quarter. Bulldogs trying to go up by two scores. Handoff to Von Sharp, and he's going to be dropped right around the five-yard line. He tried to jump over Kuhn, and he wasn't going to allow that to happen as Kuhn just grabbed him in the midair and put him to the ground. Nice takedown by Kuhn. Gain of one brings up second and goal from the Buckeye five. Athens, two receivers on each side. Ryder goes in motion. Germano runs with it, and he takes it in for the score for the Bulldogs. Wow, what can be said, Jim? I mean, right now, everything is going the fashion for the Bulldogs, and it's all being set up by the, the uh, fumbles on the Buckeye side of the ball. Three turnovers have given the life and the momentum to the side of the Bulldogs. Athens will attempt the extra point. And the kick is up, and the kick is good. So with 48 seconds left in the first quarter, the Bulldogs lead the Buckeyes 14-0. 48 seconds left in a quarter in which the Buckeyes will be glad to see end. There's no doubt they're going to look to end this first quarter and put it behind them and try to just pretend like it's a new game, start over and see what they can do from there on because the three turnovers in one quarter for the Buckeyes is by far the most they've had at any point this season. A little short kick to this side, picked up by Austin North. And he'll take it to the 30-yard line. That's where the Buckeyes will have a first down and 10. Like they always said, if you're going to get behind, get behind early. Yeah, give yourself time to get back in the ball game. The Buckeyes need to hold on to the ball, obviously, number one. Uh, just drive down. They've got 70 yards to go. Try to find a way to get the ball down the field and score and uh, get back in this ball game. They're only down two scores. It's not like it's insurmountable by any stretch of the imagination. They get, get a drive here, put some points on the board. Buckeyes out of the eye. Two receivers to the right. Dean back to pass, throws, and it is caught by Kyle Freer, and he's knocked down at the Buckeye 37. Sorrell on the tackle for Athens, a gain of about seven. The Buckeyes will have a second and three. Clock running, 15 seconds left in the first quarter. Buckeyes second down and three on their own 37-yard line. And a flag comes in. Clint Handa down right around the line of scrimmage. May have been a half-yard loss. A flag is down, and a penalty is on the Buckeyes. Illegal motion. So let's see what Athens decides to do. They stop the Buckeyes for about a half yard loss. So they either bring up a third down and about a four situation or second down and eight. They will take the penalty. So we will have one play. That was the final play of the first quarter. The clock hit zeros, but we will have a untimed down. Well, guys can use all the extra plays on the offensive side of the ball that they can get right now. Buckeyes out of the eye, second down and about eight. Dean back to pass, a flag comes in, pass over the middle, caught by Austin North at the 47 of Athens, but again, a flag is down. Brought down by Zayakowski out there. And it's on Nelsonville York. One more untimed down here as it backs the Buckeyes Looks way. Looks like an illegal block.
All the way back to the 16 yard line. So the Buckeyes will have second down over again. Second down and about 25 to go. Started out second and four. Buckeyes out of the eye. Slant, and it falls incomplete. Daniel Klein, the intended receiver. Defensively number 20 that time for the Bulldogs. Nick Stanley was all over that play. You could see him eyeballing which direction Nathan was going with that ball. End of the first quarter, Jim, but I'm telling you, like you said, the Buckeyes are happy to have that one behind them. At the end of one here at Athens High School, 14-0 Bulldogs. Buckeyes third and 24 from their own 17 as we begin the second quarter of play. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Nathan Dean under center at quarterback. Klein goes in motion. Dean back to pass. Throws over the middle towards north. And it falls incomplete. Stanley on coverage for the Bulldogs. So the Buckeyes will punt it away, fourth and 24 on their own 17. Devon Sharp back deep for Athens, along with Skyler Schwartzel. The Buckeyes defense will be back on the field again, and they've spent the majority of this first half on the field. Dustin Young will punt it away. Good snap. Low liner up the field. Takes a Buckeye roll, and it looks like they touched it. The Buckeyes did around the Nelsonville York 44. So the Bulldogs with excellent field position already leading 14 nothing here in the opening minute of the second quarter. Well, right now, like we said, the big turnovers for the Buckeyes on the offensive side of the ball have given the life and momentum to the side of the Bulldogs and the Bulldogs have done their best with the ball once they've had it. They've been able to find a way to get into the end zone twice Bulldogs, first and 10 at the Buckeye 44. Oh Athens out of the eye. Michael Germano at quarterback. Two receivers to the right. Hand off to Sharp. And he'll take it to the Buckeye 41 yard line, a gain of three. Second down and seven for Athens. Look like Kyle Moore on the stop along with Covert over there on that far side. Of course, the Buckeyes were down 13-0 at halftime two years ago here at Athens High School and came back to win 14-13. Bulldogs second down and seven. Hit the Buckeye 41. Schwartzel comes in motion to this side. Germano back to pass, That's rolls to the side, for. throws. And Intercepted. the Buckeyes pick it up. Kyle, or Garrison Breeze, comes up with the interception as it goes through Schwartzel's hands. So the Buckeyes finally get their big turnover that they were looking for on the defensive side of the ball. Fifth interception on the season, season for Garrison Breeze. He and Jacob Perkins each with five picks for the Buckeyes to lead the team. Nelsonville York takes over on their own 30 yard line. First down and 10, trailing 14 0. Buckeyes out of the eye. Hand up fullback, Young at tailback. Two receivers to the right. Hand off, Dustin Young. Dustin Young comes to this Find side. Nice hole. And no, Dustin Young is run out of bounds at the Buckeye 49 yard line, a gain of 19. You could see that time Dustin was not going to be denied as he was running hard. An to injured the right Athens side. player, and it's Mitch Ryder. Of course, he is a force for the Bulldogs on defense and being tended to by the trainers right now. And hopefully, that young man can get back in the game. Walking off under his own power. Yeah, it looks like he'll be all right. And again, the Buckeyes did a nice job of um, sealing that right side and opening up a nice hole for Dustin to get to. And that's the, the Dustin Young, uh, you know, we talked about this earlier in the season. 
Dustin Young last year was more of just a speed runner, and you could see right there, he's a power runner with that speed as he drops his shoulders there at the end and gets that extra five yards as uh, he ran right into Russell, it looked like. Buckeyes first and 10 on their own 49. Two receivers to the right. Quick pitch goes to Dustin Young, cuts it up. Takes it into Bulldog territory at the 49, a gain of two. Russell on the stop, number 22 that time, defensively for the Bulldogs as he gets about two yards on the carry. Athens leading 14-0, 10 and a half minutes to play in the first half. Buckeyes out of the eye on second down and about eight. Pitch out, Dustin Young to this side, and he's knocked down back at the Buckeye 45-yard line. Again, big play defensively for uh, Chris Russell as he eyeballed that one the whole way and uh, dropped Dustin for a loss. That'll be a loss of about six. Brings up third and 14 for Nelsonville York back on their own 45. Buckeye splitting two receivers out to the left, one to the right. Nathan Dean out of the shotgun. Dean back to pass, throwing long on the right side, and it falls incomplete at the Athens 25. It looked like North cut it more towards the middle of the field. Yeah, a little and miscommunication on the, the route that time, it looked like, as Nathan was throwing it down the sidelines longer, and North, like you said, cut inside there. Maybe expecting the ball to come uh, down along the hash marks there. Fourth and 14 for the Buckeyes. Devon Sharp back deep to receive the punt from Dustin Young. Along with Skyler Schwartzel. Young gets it away, angles it towards the sideline. And let's see where they mark it. Should be inside the 20 there. Right around the 18 yard line where the Bulldogs will have it. They lead 14 nothing with 9.33 to play in the second quarter. Well, the Buckeyes get the big turnover, but they're unable to find a way to march down the field and put any points on the board, so they still find themselves down by two scores. It's time for the defense to be back out on the field again. Michael Germano at quarterback for Athens. First down and 10 for the Bulldogs on their own 18 yard line. Sorts all in motion to the right. Pitch out goes to Devon Sharp. And he's brought down Ooh. back at the 15 yard line, a loss of about three. I don't know how he eluded Kuhn somehow. Good pursuit by the Buckeye defense. Brings up second and 13 for Athens, back at the 15. <laughs> Michael Germano at quarterback. Sharp goes in motion. Quick pass out to Sharp. On the short yeah. side of the field, there's Covert pushes him out of bounds, but we right could see the burst, the burst of speed when uh, Sharp got that ball. Picks up about eight yards to the, the Bulldog 23. Brings up third down and about four. Third down and about four for the Bulldogs. This is a big third down play. The Buckeyes have to hold him here. It'd be nice to get that ball kicked back over to him quickly. Germano back to pass, being pressured, throws. He's got sharp wide open. And it falls oh. incomplete, and a flag comes in. And they're calling it. The interference on the Buckeyes, I believe, is the call. Cody Mack was the intended receiver, and they're going to say that Austin North hit him before the ball actually got there. So the Bulldogs will have a first down pass interference on Nelsonville York.
Athens will have it on their own 38-yard line. You know, that's one of those plays had Northman able to turn and actually watch the ball coming. They probably wouldn't have called that against him, but he was running towards Cody the entire time and uh, might have got there just a little early as the referees saw it. Bulldogs out of the eye, two receivers to the left. Germano hands it off to Sharp, and he's gonna be brought down. A loss of about a half yard. Caleb Covert comes in there, makes a nice tackle on Sharp as he was trying to dance his way to the outside again. Second down and 10 for Athens. Bulldogs on their own 38 yard line. 8-10 to play in the first half. Athens 14, Nelsonville York zero. Battle of two 9 and 0 teams here at Athens High School tonight. Athens out of the eye, a receiver on each side. Germano back to pass, rolls to this side, throws, and it is incomplete. Nice effort by Bobby Lightwine. Almost an incredible interception. So to bring up third down and 10 for the Bulldogs. Athens on their own 38. Chris Russell coming in with the play for the Bulldogs on third and eight. The probably third and 10 on their own 38. The Bulldogs will split out two receivers on each side. They call a timeout. Athens will take a timeout. 7.50 to play in the first half. The Bulldogs lead 14-0. Third down and 10 for Athens on their own 38-yard line. Devon Sharp, the lone back for the Bulldogs. Michael Germano under center. Pitch out goes to Sharp. Sharp He's looking throwing. to throw. Does so on the far side. And it is picked off to the Buckeyes, Austin North. And North will take it out to the 40-yard line where the Buckeyes will have a first down and 10. I'll tell you the truth. I thought Garrison Breeze was going to come up with his second interception of the game. He goes up. The ball was intended for number 20 out there, Nick Stanley, and Nick actually got his hands on the ball. Breeze hits him, and the ball bounces up, and then North is right there, grabs the ball and takes it upfield, and like you said, gives us good field position out to the 39. Like you said, I thought Breeze was going to pick it, then I thought Stanley was going to catch it, and then North came away with it. Buckeyes out of the eye, draw play to Dustin Young, and he's going to be hit and dropped right around the line of scrimmage. Second down and 10 for the Buckeyes. Sorrel and 40. Sorrel and Ryder on the stop that time for the Bulldogs as Dustin just wasn't able to get his feet going that time. He's tripped up before he really got to the back to the line of scrimmage. Nathan D now the shotgun. Takes a snap, looks to this side, throws, and it falls in complete. Right through Kyle Freer's hands. And that, you know, like you just mentioned that there's a bit of a mist coming down. It's not a true rain yet, but a bit of a mist. And that's going to make that ball a little slicker out there. And I, you might have just seen that happen right there because of that. So the Buckeyes facing third down and 10 on their own 40. Seven minutes to play in the second quarter. The Bulldogs lead 14-0. Buckeyes splitting out. Three receivers to the right, two to the left. Dean now the shotgun. Throws over the middle and it's picked off. And it is picked off by Austin Ziakowski of Athens. Wow. They'll take Turn over at the Buckeye 41 yard line. Turnovers are the key to tonight's ball game. I mean, that's the fourth turnover. The, Buck, the Bulldogs have been able to get their hands on. The Buckeyes have had two in their favor. But the Bulldogs, again, get the ball in excellent field position here. Athens out of the eye, a receiver on each side. Handoff goes to Sharp, and he stopped right at the line of scrimmage, no gain. 
Looked like Daniel Klein was the first to hit him there. And then Hook and Lightwine came up to help things out along with Covert. Second down and 10 for Athens. Ball resting at the Buckeye 40. Bulldogs already up by two touchdowns with 6.20 to play in the first half. Bulldogs, second down and 10. Michael Germano at quarterback, two receivers to the right, one to the left. Handoff goes to Mitch Ryder, I believe. And he'll pick up about three to the Buckeye 37 where it's third and seven. Mello on the stop that time for the Buckeyes. Is it, the misty rain is getting to be a little harder as it looks out across the field anyways. Third down and seven for Athens. At the Buckeye 37. Two receivers to each side, sharp to loom back. Germano throws and it is caught to the Buckeye 27. A flag is down. So let's see if this play stands. And the penalty is on the Bulldogs. Legal procedure on Athens. So that'll be a five yard mark off. It'll bring up third and 12 at the Buckeye 42. Fortunate for the Buckeyes because I, they would have had enough for the first down on that pass reception. Germano gets rid of the ball quickly when he's back there. You can see Hook tried to get back there and uh, put the pressure on him, but wasn't able to quite get there. Sharp in motion to this side. Germano out of the shotgun, being rushed. Throws back the other way, and it's pulled in by Mitch Ryder. And Mitch Ryder on the move for the Bulldogs, and he's going to take it in for an Athens touchdown. You know, From I've, 42 yards out. I've got to say, actually, that was a well-designed play as not only did they overload the left side, but they put Sharp in motion to the left side, and the defense followed him if, right across the field, and that left um, Mitch Ryder wide open on that side, and they, they brought their blocking out in front of him, and he had a wall of blockers. He followed all the way down to the touchdown. Bulldogs attempting the extra point, and it's up, and it is good. 5.15 to play before halftime here at Athens, and the Bulldogs lead the Buckeyes 21-0. Bulldogs will kick it away. Dustin Young back deep along with Garrison Breeze and Austin North. Kick comes towards Austin North at the 15-yard line, brings it to this side. And North will take it out to about the 33-yard line. Well, as you said before, Jim, this uh, has all the makings of being a uh, classic in the makings. And at this particular time, um, it's a classic as long as the Buckeyes can find a way to make a big comeback. They have not been down by two scores at any point this season, let alone three as they are right now. Good thing for the Buckeyes, uh, they can score quickly. They have a good passing attack. Dean now the shotgun. Throws out, caught by Austin North. And North will take it out to about the 44 yard line, close to a first down. Looks like he actually slipped when he tried to cut back into the inside to the field that time. Mitch Ryder on the tackle, good to see him back in the game. Of course he takes that touchdown, across the way on the, the Bulldogs last touchdown. First down and 10 for the Buckeyes. On their own 44, two receivers to the left, one to the right, Dean looking to throw. It's a slant, and Daniel Klein pulls it in at yeah. the Bulldog 48. Stanley was right there, and I, you got to give Daniel a lot of credit for bringing that ball in. He did a nice job of holding on to that one. Seven-yard pickup brings up second and three for the Buckeyes. Second down and three. 
Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Dean, back to pass, throws. It's caught by Kyle Freer. He's got a first down, and then he's dropped at the 44 of Athens. Gain of about four. Athens leading 21 0, 410 to play in the first half. Austin North coming in with the Nelsonville York play on first down and 10 at the Athens 44 yard line. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Nathan Dean out of the shotgun, takes a snap. Now he's going to throw long towards Daniel Klein, and it's going to be intercepted by Athens back at the 14. Again, Ziakowski on the stop that time. Daniel sticks with the play and brings him down. So the Bulldogs will take over on their own 18-yard line with 3.39 to play in the first half. That's Ziakowski's second interception of the ball game and fifth turnover for the Buckeyes here in the first half. First and 10 for Athens on their own 18. Out of the eye, Devon Sharp takes the handoff. And he's breaking tackles and he'll take it out to the 26 yard line of Athens. Garrison Breeze finally brings him down, but man, he was actually just bouncing off the tacklers of the Buckeyes that time. Nice hard run by Sharp that time. Gain of eight brings up second and two. Bulldogs on their own 26 yard line. Athens out of the eye, a receiver split out on each side. Hand off to Von Sharp. And he'll take it out to the 30 yard line. And that will be a first down for Athens. Mello on the stop that time for the bucket, but like you said, Sharp gets enough for the first down. Inside three minutes to play in the first half here. First down and 10 for Athens on their own 30. 2.42 to play in the second quarter. Athens two receivers to the right. Hand off to Von Sharp, kicks it to the outside. And let's see where he went out. Right around the 31, a gain of one. Bobby Lightwine on the tackle for the Buckeyes. Yeah, Bobby did a nice job of following him across the field. Again, uh, the speed of Sharp, and uh, Bobby kept with him football or step for step that time. Second down and nine for the Bulldogs on their own 31-yard line. Athens out of the eye, a receiver on each side. Hand off to Sharp, and he's going to be hit and dropped in the backfield. By Hook. And, you know, that's one of the things we were talking about. Hook is uh, exceptional at shooting through that line and bringing people down. He did a nice job bringing him down for a couple-yard loss that time. Dakota Hook leading the Buckeyes in tackles with 76. Timeout on the field. 2.13 to play in the first half. The Bulldogs lead 21-0. Third down and the 11 for Athens on their own 29 yard line. Big third down play here. The Buckeyes uh, call that timeout to try to hopefully get a chance to get the ball back one more time before halftime. Germano looking to throw, does so, and it is caught by Schwartzel. Schwartzel again. He's got the first down out at the 42 yard line. He's taken out of bounds by Bobby Lightwine. And covert, I believe, defensively, but it's enough for a first down. Gain of 13 for Athens. They spotted at the 43 of the Bulldogs, first down and 10. 2.06 to play in the first half.
Out of the eye, Germano hands it off to Devon Sharp. He takes it out to the 45 yard line. A flag does come in. Coon and Covert on the stop that time for the Buckeyes. Typically in a position of holding and that is what they call holding against the Bulldogs offense. The Buckeyes will take the penalty. Holding on Athens. 10-yard mark off, puts it back at the Bulldog 31. Well, the Bu Buckeye crowd is absolutely stunned right now, Jim. Being down 21 to zero, they have uh, only seen their Buckeyes down in a couple ball games all season long. Once against Bishop Reedy and, uh, and again at the very beginning of the game against Megs. First down on about 21 for Athens. Germano keeps it himself to this side and he'll be knocked down. The ball comes out, but I believe they ruled he is down. Daniel Klein made a nice tackle that time for the Buckeyes. Gain of about nine for Athens. Second down and about 12 for the Bulldogs on their own 41. 120 to play in the first half. Athens leading by three touchdowns. Michael Germano out of the shotgun. Two receivers on each side. And Athens will take a timeout. 58 seconds to play in the second quarter, and the Bulldogs lead 21-0. Second down and 12. Michael Germano out of the shotgun. Schwartzel goes in motion. Hand off to this in. side to Devon Sharp. And Sharp still going for the Bulldogs. And he'll be taken down at the Buckeye 22-yard line by Austin North. The leg back at here. The 23, there is a flag down holding on Athens. North made a nice tackle on uh, Sharp at the end of that play too, and Devon's moving a little slower as he walks back to the huddle this time, but big penalty against the Bulldogs in favor of the Buckeyes because with 50 seconds to go, that's the difference between having the ball down on the 22, and instead they're gonna back them up from where they originally were at the 40. Should be back around the 30 yard line, maybe deeper. Ball will be spotted at the 28 yard line, 50 seconds to play in the first half. Second and down and very long now. Second down to about 25. Clock starts up with 45 seconds to play in the second quarter. Athens, two receivers on each side. Germano takes a snap, looking to throw. Being pressured, and he sacked. Melo brings him to the ground. Back at the 17, and a, and a flag. flag comes in. Someone's talking there. Had to be. And it looks like it's the big lineman for the Bulldogs. Personal foul on Athens. Only 16 seconds left in the half, however. Should be tacked on after the sack. Seeing it was after, it was a dead ball foul against the Bulldogs. Half the distance to the goal will spot it about the nine yard line. But again, only 16 seconds left in the half. It's a shame for the Buckeyes that there's not about two minutes left in the half. <laughs> Buckeyes, Buckeyes take a timeout. 
16 seconds to play before halftime, 21-0 Athens. Third and 44 to go for Athens back on their own nine yard line. Buckeyes go to a two man coverage situation, trying just not to give up the big play before halftime here. Hand off to Chris Russell and he'll be brought down after a one yard gain at the 10 and the Buckeyes call timeout with 10 seconds to play. Timeout on the field. 21-0 Bulldogs, 10 seconds left in the second quarter. Bulldogs will punt it away on fourth down at about 43. Noah Alisoff will punt it away, high snap. Buckeyes trying to get in there and block it. And the clock will run down. And there's one second remaining in the first half. And the Buckeyes have it at the Bulldog. 44 yard line with just one second left in the second quarter. So the Buckeyes might try the Michigan State play here. That went against Wisconsin right at the end of the game. Buckeyes. Just one second left here in the first half. Two receivers on each side. And we have a timeout taken by Athens. Buckeyes, couple receivers on each side. Draw play goes to Dustin Young. Dustin Young brings it to this side. Dustin Young on the move for the Buckeyes, and he's in! Touchdown! No, no, they said he stepped out! They said he oh, stepped out! He stepped out of bounds! They rolled, he stepped out right around the eight yard line. And a flag comes in, and it's probably going to be unsportsmanlike conduct on Nelsonville, York. Officials talking things over. And the call is unsportsmanlike conduct on Nelsonville, York. So I'm assuming that'll be uh, put on the kickoff of the second half. Unsportsmanlike conduct on the Buckeyes. And it looks like it will be on as we begin the second half of play. It's halftime here at Athens High School and the Bulldogs leading the Buckeyes 21 to nothing. So the unsportsmanlike conduct penalty on the Buckeyes at the end of the first half marched off. And Nelsonville York will kick it away from their own 25. Should give the Bulldogs good field position where the Bulldogs will pick up uh, offensively. The Bulldogs rushed for 77 yards and uh, ran Passed the ball for 126 yards, seven of nine. Germano did a nice job. Picked up by Sharp at the 40. Sharp comes to this side, across the 40 of Nelsonville, York, and knocked down at the Buckeye 30. Wow, not just good field position, great field position for the Bulldogs to start the second half. And often you see that when the Receiver for a kickoff actually drops the ball. It sets, it, it kind of messes up some of the timing of the defense. And then with the speed and explosion of Sharp, he just made the best of that. Nathan Dean did a nice job of hitting him and then Bobby Lightline also helping to bring him down, but inside the 30 to start the second half of the Bulldogs offense. Athens first down and 10 at the Buckeye 29. Receiver on each side. Germano back to pass, throwing towards the end zone. Perkins 
Close down the interception. Buckeyes will have it deep in their own territory, but they do have the football. Well, I was just going to say the interceptions in the first half, the Buckeyes had five turnovers. They gave the ball to the Bulldogs, three on the fumble, three on fumbles and two interceptions in favor of the Bulldogs in the first half. The Buckeyes get the first big turnover in the second half to get the ball back. Oh, like you said, it's deep in their own territory, but at least they have the ball. Jacob Perkins now with six interceptions on the season. Buckeyes on their own seven yard line. First down and 10. Hand off Dustin Young and he's upended after a short gain on the play for the Buckeyes. Gain of about two out to the nine. 47 on the tackle that time for the Bulldogs. It looked to be the first hit made. And that's Josh Maxson. Okay, second down and about eight from their own nine yard line. Buckeyes out of the eye. Hand off Dustin Young. Dustin Young breaks a tackle. And he's close to a first down. Let's see where they spot it. Looks like he has it at the 20 yard line. First down and 10 Buckeyes. Dustin Young with that big 40-yard run right before halftime. Everybody on this side of the field thought he got into the end zone. They called it. He stepped out of bounds early. He had 69 yards in the first half on the ground, and uh, we start putting the ball in his hands to start the second half. Buckeyes out of the eye. Dustin Young with the handoff. Dustin Young will take it out to about the 30-yard line, and a flag comes flag in. Comes in. The late flag. Sideline warning on Nelsonville York. We saw that penalty called on Athens early in the game. So that's another Buckeye first down. First and 10, Buckeyes just across their own 30 yard line. Nelsonville York out of the eye, two receivers to the right, one to the left. Kyle Freer in motion left. Hand off Dustin Young trying to break away and he's gonna be brought down right around the line of scrimmage. Hit in the backfield that time, number 69. They brought the blitz on and effective that time. 69, Bobby Sebring on a stop. It was the first man back for the Bulldogs as Dustin gets back to the line of scrimmage and that's about it that time. Second down and 10 for the Buckeyes on their own 30. Athens leading 21-0 with 9.38 to play, third quarter. Well, you know, we talked about it at halftime. It's critical for the Buckeyes to maximize every opportunity they have here in the second half, down by three scores. So they've got to find a way to keep marching this ball at this point. Buckeyes out of the power eye. Dean throws, and it's caught by Austin North. And he's got a first down as he run, run out of bounds at the 45. And a late flag comes in. Personal foul on Nelsonville York. Well, obviously, they, they call it against North. As he's pushed out of bounds, he's five yards out of bounds there, four yards out of bounds there, still shoving him. He turns and pushes back, and that's what the referee saw from the field. He didn't care about what was going on prior to that. He calls it against North and backs him up. Negates a. They spot it back at the Buckeye 30, and a flag comes in on the Buckeye sideline. That's on the sideline again. This will back us up again. And unsportsmanlike conduct on Nelsonville York. So 
for what looked like an outstanding play. The Buckeyes had the completion out to their own 45 yard line. Now the ball spotted back at the 14. Unsportsmanlike conduct on Nelsonville York. They're bringing the chains back. It will be a first and 10 for the Buckeyes. They picked up the first down, then two dead ball fouls, a personal say, foul and unsportsmanlike. They gave him a dead ball foul. They figured it. They called it after the 15-yard pass, so he had the first down, then the penalty was on the dead ball, so then they back him up. It is a first down they're working with. Hand off Dustin Young, and Dustin Young will cross the 20 and be taken down around the 22. Brought down by Schwartzel that time defensively. Picks up about seven yards for the Buckeyes, second and three. Puts Dustin Young right at 100 yards on tonight's ball game. Buckeyes splitting out a receiver on each side. Actually two to the left. Nathan Dean out of the shotgun on second and three. Dean looking to throw. Throwing long on the far side. And it's caught. it is caught by the Buckeyes at the Athens 48 by Dustin Young. Dustin Young comes up with a great catch. I, that looked like it was almost in position to get intercepted again, but instead a 31 yard pass play from Nathan Dean out to Dustin Young. Athens leading 21-0, 8.40 to play third quarter. Buckeyes out of the power eye at the Athens 48, first down and 10. Hand off Dustin Young, and he'll take it to the Athens 46 yard line, a gain of a couple. Brings up second and eight. Hit right at the line of scrimmage, still is able to get forward for some positive yardage that time as he's hit defensively for the Bulldogs, number 52. Dakota, er, Dakota Thompson, I believe, is who that is. They give it to Cody Mack on the loudspeaker here. Buckeye splitting out north and Freer on the right. Klein to the left, out of the eye on second and eight. Dean back to pass, throws. It's caught by Austin North. North trying to break away, but it'll be brought down at the Athens 41-yard line. The Buckeyes will have a third and four. Third and four for Nelsonville York at the Bulldog 41-yard line. Buckeyes out of the power eye on third down and about four. Down by three scores. I'd say this is two down territory for the Buckeyes. Dustin right? Young's hit and dropped right around the line of scrimmage. Russell, Chris Russell is actually eyeballing wherever Dustin Young goes at this particular point defensively, and he dropped him right at the line of scrimmage, maybe even a yard shy of the line of scrimmage, Jim. Loss of one. Fourth down and about five for the Buckeyes. At the Athens 42. Well, the Buckeyes had an early fourth down play in the very first drive of the ball game. They were able to complete that one. Buckeyes are going for it. Receiver split out on the left, two to the right, out of the eye. Nathan Dean under center, back to pass, throws, and it is caught. Miles to North, and he's knocked out of bounds at the Athens 36 yard line. He was knocked out of bounds at the 32, but they ruled he stepped out at the 36, but it's a Buckeye first down. Six forty-two to play in the third quarter. Obviously plenty of time left in this game. Buckeyes down by three touchdowns. First and 10 at the Athens, 36. Big fourth down completion that time for the Buckeyes. Nathan Dean out to North. Hand off Dustin Young, and he's going to be hit and dropped right at the line of scrimmage. Defensively, number 60 that time on the stop for the Bulldogs. Trevor Sewell. Buckeyes second and 10 at the Bulldog 36-yard line. Nathan Dean out of the shotgun. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Go, 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 
Dean takes a snap, good protection. Throws long on the right side towards north. And he pulls it in. It the is Buckeyes a catch. will have a first and goal at the seven yard line. I was waiting to see if they were gonna call him in bounds or not, but they did. Said his feet were in bounds. Nice catch by North as Dathan puts the ball over his left shoulder and North goes up and brings it in. And they put it like you said, where is it at the seven yard line? Buckeyes first and goal just inside the seven. Nelsonville York out of the power eye. Hand to Perkins and Young in the back, Buckeye backfield. Young takes the handoff, takes it to the outside, and he's in for a Buckeye touchdown. Touchdown Buckeyes. Six yard scamper after a 30 yard pass play from Nathan Dean down to North, and uh, Dustin punches it in. So the Buckeyes get the big turnover at the interception from Perkins down on the six yard line. March it out to the 45 only to be backed up back to the, about the 20 yard line or 15 and then drive the 85 yards for the touchdown. Nathan Dean attempting the point after touchdown. Perkins snapping, Young holding. And the kick is up and the kick is good. 21-7, Athens leading with 5.36 to play in the third quarter. Nathan Dean will kick it away for the Buckeyes. Devon Sharp back deep for the Bulldogs. The approach and the kick, a low liner up the It'll field, go out of bounds. and it does go out of bounds right around the 15-yard line. So Athens will have it on the 35. You know, with Devon back there, though, it's not a bad play to kick that ball out of bounds and not allow him that uh, opportunity to run the ball back. Bulldogs first and 10 on their own 35. Buckeyes hoping for a three and out here. Bulldogs first and 10. Two receivers to the right, one to the left, out of the eye. Hand off to Vaughn Sharp, and Lines he breaks away left. momentarily, but he's gonna be taken down at the line of scrimmage. Again, somehow he gets away from the original would-be tacklers of the Buckeyes and comes back around to this side, but Daniel Klein and Hook put a stop to that before he gets anywhere. He picks up one, it brings up second and nine for the Bulldogs on their own 36. Michael Germano at quarterback for Athens. He's out of the, uh, the shotgun. Two receivers on each side. Schwarzel goes in motion. Germano keeps it himself, and he'll take it out to the 39-yard line, a gain of three, where to bring up third and six. Coon was the one that tripped him up as he came across the line of scrimmage that time. He gets about three yards on it, but the Buckeyes defense definitely feeding off the momentum of their offense in the last series. Buckeyes needing a hold here. Bulldogs third down and six on their own 39. Michael Germano under center, two receivers on each side. He's gonna throw and it falls incomplete. And the Buckeye fans are into the game now, Jim, as the Buckeye defense holds them on a three and out. The Bulldogs will be punting the ball back over. Again, you gotta watch the Bulldogs in their punt formation because Devon Sharp's the one back there and their up man is, I believe, to be Chris Russell and Schwartzel. And you have an opportunity for something to, uh, to be quick snapped and ran here as you've also got Germano lined up right there as a quarterback. High snap! And Olasoff pulls it in. Nice play by Noah Olasoff. Austin wow. North catches it. He crosses the 35 and takes it down to the 30-yard line. Nice play by Austin North that time. 
to come up with the line drive kick. Germano brings him down, but again, the, the, punt, the punter for the Bulldogs does an amazing job just to get his hands on the ball, to get the ball off, kick the line drive, and before you know it, North is snagging it out of the air at the 50-yard line, runs it down and gives the Buckeyes great field position on the 30 of the Bulldogs. Nice play by Olisoff to pull in that snap to just get the punt off. Buckeyes first and 10 at the Athens 30-yard line out of the power eye. Pitch out, Dustin Young. Young will be brought down after a short gain of about two at the 28. Mitch Ryder in on the stop that time along with 52, which is Dakota Thompson defensively for the Bulldogs. Second down and eight for the Buckeyes, 3.48 to play in the third quarter. Nelsonville York down by 14. Nathan Dean out of the shotgun. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Takes the snap. Throws and it falls incomplete as a Bulldog knocks it away. Number 52, Dakota Thompson is trying to figure out right now how he didn't come away with an interception as it went right through his hands. Buckeyes in four down territory. It's third and eight. They've got two downs to pick up eight yards. Ball spotted at the Athens 28 yard line. Third down and eight. Buckeyes out of the power eye. Pitch out, Dustin Young, he's looking to throw. And he throws, and it's, it's intercepted, intercepted inside the five yard line by Nick Stanley, brought down by Kyle Freer. Back at the three yard line. You could see Dustin setting up as soon as he got the pitch that time to drop back and try to throw the ball. Nick Stanley did a great job defensively for the Bulldogs, got in position. And got the big interception for the Bulldogs down inside the five yard line. Big interception by the Bulldogs, but all is not lost. The Buckeyes, if they can hold Athens here on a three and out, would have excellent field position once again. 3.17 to play in the third quarter. Bulldogs 21, Buckeyes seven. That's the ninth turnover of the ball game. Six in favor of the Bulldogs, three in favor of the Buckeyes. Hand off to the fullback, and he's driven back as he stopped right around the four-yard line, a gain of one. Brings up second and nine. Second down and nine for the Bulldogs on their own four yard line. Germano under center at quarterback, hands it off to Devon Sharp, and he's hit and dropped back at the four yard line. No gain on the play. Covert and Neil Pauly get the actual tackle, but he was hit by like four different Buckeyes and hit hard. The Buckeyes were swarming to him that time. Third down and nine for the Bulldogs on their own four. Buckeyes needing a big stop here. And, and like you said, they get a stop here. They should get the ball in excellent field position again. Definitely look like a better squad or, or much more uh, fired up squad here in the second half, the Buckeyes do. Still about down by two scores though. They've got to find a way to get this ball back right here. Let's see if the Bulldogs put it in the air. Back on their own four. Germano back to pass, throwing long to this side. And it's completed. It's picked no. off. Intercepted by, by Jacob Perkins. Perkins ripped it out of Rick Stanley's hands that time as they both go up for the ball. What a great play by Ernie Perkins, or Jacob Perkins that time. I say it all the time, Jimmy, but you know who I mean. So the Buckeyes take over at the Athens 38 with 1.41 to play in the third quarter. The Bulldogs up by 14. And now that's the 10th turnover of the ball game. Nathan Dean out of the shotgun. 
three receivers, four to the right. Quick pass, Daniel Klein. And Daniel Klein leaps over a would-be tackler and goes out of bounds right around the 30-yard line, a pickup of about eight for the Buckeyes. Gain of seven for Nelsonville York, second and three. Second and three for the Buckeyes inside the 31 of Athens. Nelsonville York in the power eye. Dustin Young takes the handoff and he'll take it to the 30, a gain of one. And the Buckeyes will have a third and two. Third down and two for Nelsonville York at the Athens 30. Buckeyes down 21-7. 108 to play, third quarter. Buckeyes out of the eye. Two receivers to the right. Third down and two. Dean will throw, and it is caught for the first down. And a flag comes in late. Ernie Perkins, may, or Jacob Perkins on the reception. This may be on the Bulldogs. Let's see what the call is. Personal foul on Athens. With that reception, that's the seventh different receiver that Nathan's hit tonight. First and 10 at the Athens 13. And the Buckeyes are knocking on the door again here in the third quarter. Buckeyes, two receivers to the right, one to the left, out of the eye, hand up fullback, Young at tailback, Dean under center at quarterback. Hand off, Dustin Young. And Hit he's right at the down. line of scrimmage there. He may have picked up one. Let's see where they spot it. Defensive line of the Bulldogs did a nice job of driving in there, but I do believe he got a yard on it. Second and nine at the 12 of Athens. 18 seconds to play in the third quarter. This will be the last play of this third quarter. Dean back to pass, throws. It's caught by Kyle Freer. And he's brought down right around the five yard line. That's the final play of the third quarter. And at the end of three, here at Athens High School, Athens 21, Nelson, New York, seven. Buckeyes third down and three at the Athens six as we begin the final 12 minutes here at Athens High School. Buckeyes in the power eye. Hand off Dustin Young, cuts it up. Touchdown Buckeyes! Big touchdown for the Buckeyes. They punch the ball in again. You know, that, that's gonna go down as a touchdown in the fourth quarter, but it's all because of the drive in the third quarter. The Buckeyes dominating the third quarter. In the first half, Nathan Dean was six of nine for 51 yards. Comes out in the third quarter alone. Third quarter, he was eight of nine for 108 passing yards. So Buckeyes down eight. Nelson New York trying to make it a seven point ball game. Jacob Perkins will snap, Dustin Young will hold, and Nathan Dean will kick. And we may have offsides on Athens. And the coaching staff's debating right now. Of course, do you decline seen, that and try just stick with the extra pointer? Do you go for two on this one? We've seen several times this year where the Buckeyes have taken the penalty and then went for two, and they would pick it up. Yeah, 
And that's what they're going to do. Buckeyes are going for two. Ball spotted at the one and a half yard line after the offside penalty on the extra point. Huge play here for the Buckeyes, going for the two point conversion. Early in the fourth quarter, as you said, the penalty against the Bulldogs puts the ball real close to the goal line. Can they make it? The Bulldogs defense has been tight up the middle. Buckeyes in the T formation. Hand off Austin North and he's gonna take it in. The two point conversion attempt is successful. And the Buckeyes trail by six, 21-15 with 11.54 to play. Nathan Dean will kick it away for the Buckeyes. Devon Sharp back deep for the Bulldogs. This is the game everybody expected coming into tonight's ball game. Two 9-0 ball teams. And the Buckeyes kick it out of bounds, and the Bulldogs will take it on their own 35. Well, the Buckeyes are definitely not allowing Devon Sharp to get a chance to run the ball back. They're content to give the ball to the Bulldogs on their own 35. The boy, the defense is coming out here in the second half. It's a great play. I mean, it's the right call if you ask me. Don't even give Devon Sharp a chance to run the ball back. Nice decision by the coaching staff to have Nathan kick these out of bounds. And again, the Buckeye defense ready and fired up. You can see it in them out there. 12 minutes yet to play. The Buckeyes only down by six. Bulldogs first and 10 on their own 35. Splitting out a receiver on each side. Michael Germano at quarterback, Athens out of the eye. Germano back to pass, being pressured, and he throws it, and it's, let's see if he picked it off, he did! They gave it to him! The Buckeyes pick it off at the 48 of Athens. Jacob Perkins. They give the interception to Perkins. Well, I'll tell you, whoever had a hold of Germano made that happen. Daniel Germano Klein. could not. It was Daniel, it was Klein, Daniel back Klein there. And, and he may be injured across the way. He's having a cramp. Hopefully he'll be okay. We have an injury timeout. 11.46 to play in the game, and the Buckeyes down six. Buckeyes first and 10 at the Athens 48 after the Perkins interception. Nathan Dean at quarterback. Austin North in motion to this side. Quick pitch, Dustin Young. Dustin Young is cut Ooh. down and a flag comes in across the way. Nick Stanley comes in from that cornerback position, made a nice tackle on Dustin, but you're right, the flag's on the opposite side. Probably gonna be a, the blocking issue against the Buckeyes. Personal foul on Nelsonville, York. I believe they called like a illegal block or something is what the one ref came over and I thought he said. Personal foul called on the Buckeyes. Now the Buckeyes get the ball back over inside Bulldog territory, but with that big penalty, it'll be first and 25. Of course, you don't like to have first and 25, but the Buckeyes have the tools to, to pick it up. Splitting out a receiver on each side, out of the eye. Fake handoff, Dean throws, and it's knocked away by the Bulldogs. Number nine defensively for the Bulldogs that time, Cody Mack put the ball to the turf. So the Buckeyes will have a second down and 25. Back on the own 36 yard line. <laughs> Jacob Perkins coming in with the Buckeye play. Buckeyes on this play trying to pick up enough yardage to make the third down play manageable. Nathan Dean out of the shotgun, takes the snap, throws back to Dustin Young on this side, breaks a tackle, Dustin Young. And he's taken down at the 42-yard line where the Buckeyes will have a third down in about 18. Buckeyes on their own 42-yard line, 11.05 to play in the game. Athens leading by six. Let's go, 
Nathan Dean out of the shotgun. Three receivers on the right side. He looks that way. Throws, and it falls incomplete. Tipped away by the Bulldogs. Jacob Perkins, the intended receiver. It was either tipped away by uh, Zayakowski or Mitch Ryder. I'm not sure who got their hand on it, but they both back in that position did a nice job because he had an open man that time. Is just tipped away. Good defensive play for the Bulldogs as the Buckeyes have to punt the ball back over. Dustin Young will punt it away on fourth down at about 18. Buckeyes on their own 42. Devon Sharp back deep along with Skyler Schwartzel. And Young gets it away. And the Bulldogs will let it bounce. It takes an Athens roll. It's touched by the Bulldogs. Let's see if Athens got it. They did on the At 20. And Bobby Light winding down for the Buckeyes. And hopefully he'll be okay. We have an injury timeout, 10.30 to play in the game. The Bulldogs are leading by six. And Bobby Lightwine had to be helped from the field with a leg injury. Coming in to replace him, Zach Mays wearing number 23. First down and 10 for Athens on their own 20. Germano out of the shotgun. Schwartzel in motion. The hand he takes the handoff around the left side. And he's knocked out of bounds right around the line of scrimmage. May have picked Zach, up a yard on the play. Zach Mays was the one that made the tackle. As you just made note of him coming in and replacing Bobby Lightwine as they're still attending him on the sidelines. And uh, like you said, he was actually carried off. It did not look good. Uh, he was messing with his left knee, it seemed to be. Second down and nine for Athens on their own 21. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Michael Germano under center. Throws out to the side, tipped in the air, and it falls incomplete. Oh, Isaiah Mello got his big paw on that one, and Caleb Covert was trying to find a way to get to that ball and intercept it. Nice defensive job by the Buckeyes. So it brings up third and nine for Athens on their own 21. 9.46 to play in the game, 21-15, Athens. That ball was almost throwing backwards. Buckeye fans on their feet, hoping for a hold here on third and nine. Michael Germano out of the shotgun. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. No, pardon me, two to the left also. Looking this way. And he throws, and it's oh, picked off, but it falls incomplete. Perkins jumped Austin around Inman. again. Oh, Austin Inman, good call, 26. Jumped the route, almost had that interception. So Athens forced a punt on fourth and nine on their own 21. Garrison Breeze back deep to receive the punt along with Austin North. Noah Olasoff will punt it away for Athens. Nice snap this time, he gets it away. Good punt, takes an Athens roll. North picks it up, comes to this side. And Austin North on the move. And he'll take it to the Buckeye 49. That back jug had his hand near his pocket. I thought he was going to pull the flag out and throw it against the Buckeyes, but he didn't. And uh, North does a nice job of picking that ball up and probably saving the Buckeyes 10 to 15 yards on that punt return. 9.24 to play in the game. Buckeyes down six. They have the ball on their own 49. It's been a tale of two halves right now. If the Buckeyes can find a way to march down this 51 yards and put these points on the board, and that's what they're going to be looking to do here. Nine minutes, 20 seconds to go in the ball game. Buckeyes out of the power eye. Dustin Young takes a handoff, and he'll take it to the Athens 48-yard line on a gain of three. Bulldogs led 21-0 at halftime. The Buckeyes... Outscore the Bulldogs 15-0 so far in the second half. Nine minutes to play in the game. Let's go, Let's go, 
Buckeyes in a T formation on second down and seven. Handoff, Austin North, and he oh. tripped up. It looked like he was going to cut it to the out far side of the field. It did, actually. Number 22, Russell. Chris Russell made a nice trip that time as he brought him down. So the Buckeyes facing a third and three at the Athens 44. This is one of the things we've talked about a lot. In the second half here, the Buckeyes seem to have a lot of life in their legs yet. The Bulldogs seem a little more tired. It's because the Buckeyes don't have to play as many kids on both sides of the ball. Young takes a handoff, and he's got the first down at the Athens 40. Gain of about five. <laughs> 8 12 to play in the game, 21 15 Bulldogs. Buckeyes first and 10 at the Athens 40. Josh Maxson limping, limping off the field for Athens. Hopefully he'll be okay. Hand off to Austin North. And North will take it to the 35-yard line. Cody Mack is uh, hanging on him, but North kept driving and got a lot of positive yards after the hit that time. Second down and about five for the Buckeyes. Jacob Perkins coming in with the Nelsonville York play. Buckeyes in a power package on second down and five. And we have a timeout called, I believe, by Athens. 21-15, Buckeyes, or pardon me, Bulldogs, 7.27 to play in the fourth quarter. Buckeyes, second down and five at the Athens 35. Nelson, New York out of the power eye. Nathan Dean, under center, quarterback, hands it off, Dustin Young, Dustin Young, takes nice it to the outside, and Dustin Young is knocked out of bounds inside the 20. Again, it looks to be Chris Russell on the stop that time, but I'm telling you what. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that, Chance. <laughs> <laughs> Buckeyes first and 10 with the Athens 17. Buckeyes in a T formation. Let's go, Bucks! Let's go, Bucks! Let's go, Bucks! Let's go, Bucks! Handoff, Austin North. Stays and on his feet. He's drugged down. There's a flag on the play. Flag in the middle of the field, holding on the Buckeyes. 7-12 to play in the fourth quarter. 21-15, Athens on top. The Bulldogs will take the penalty. And the ball will be spotted at the Athens 26-yard line. Buckeyes first down and about 20 to go. Two receivers on each side. Hand of the lone back. Dean back to pass, throws a slant and it falls incomplete. Buckeyes second down and about 19. Of course the clock stopped with the incompletion. 7.09 to play in the game. Athens up by six. North and Perkins back into the game. Now North will head back to the sidelines. Buckeyes second down and 19 at the Athens 26. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. D now the shotgun. Back to pass, throwing long on the left side towards Young. It's good! Touchdown Buckeyes! Touchdown Buckeyes! 26 yard touchdown pass from Nathan Dean to Dustin Young. And the Buckeyes have tied it up at 21 apiece with the extra point attempt upcoming. 7.02 to play.
Play clock running down at 11 seconds. See if the Buckeyes, they may need to take a timeout. And they will take a timeout. Buckeyes get the timeout. We're tied at 21. 702 to play in the fourth quarter. Buckeyes trying to take their first lead of this game with 702 to play. Jacob Perkins will snap, Dustin Young will hold, and Nathan Dean will kick. And the kick is up. And it's no good off to the left, and we're tied at 21 with 702 to play. Nathan Dean will kick it away for the Buckeyes. The approach and the kick, and it's going to sail out of bounds. The flag comes in, and Athens will have it on their own 35. Buckeyes 21, Bulldogs 21, 702 to play. And so far, the tale of two halves, the Bulldogs dominate the first half with turnovers for the most part, but able to put the points on the board, have a 21-0 lead going into halftime. Buckeyes came out, owned the third quarter, and kept rolling on into the fourth quarter. And to this point, the defense of the Buckeyes has absolutely shut the offense down of the Bulldogs. Bulldogs had 203 yards at halftime. They've only got seven positive yards here in the second half. Bulldogs on their own 35. And now they're in the wild dog. Devon Sharp with it, kicks it to the outside. Flag the flag the comes in. And Sharp ran out of bounds after a short game. But again, a flag is down. The legal procedure on Athens. Five-yard penalty back to the 30-yard line where it'll be first and 15. <laughs> Athens first and 15 on their own 30-yard line. Bulldogs in that wild dog formation with Devon Sharp taking the direct snap. Man in motion to this side. Sharp runs to this side, cuts it up the middle, and is upended right around the 34-yard line. A gain of four brings up second and 11. Go to hook on the stop that time again for the Buckeyes along with uh, look to be Neil Polly or Kuhn, one of the two in the middle of the line that time. Gets him back just about to the original line of scrimmage, though. Six and a half minutes to play in the game. We're tied at 21. Bulldogs running the wild dog offense. Schwartz will in motion. Hand off to this side. The Buckeyes all over. Oh, breaks Chris away. Russell breaks away. Chris Russell. And he'll get it out to the 35-yard line. He picks up one, where to bring up third and 10. It looked like the Buckeyes had him for a big loss. Somehow he was able to squirm away, did a nice little spin move back there and comes away with a positive yard. Third down and 10 for the Bulldogs on their own 35. 5.45 to play in the game. We're tied at 21. Michael Germano back into the game at quarterback. Actually, he'll split out wide to the far side. Sharp still taking the snap. He rolls to this side looking to throw. Does so. And Schwartzel nearly pulls it in, but it's incomplete. They call incomplete as Austin Inman makes a great play on the ball after the catch. Nice play by Austin Inman, and the Bulldogs will have to punt on fourth down. And about nine. And the Buckeye defense stands tall yet again here in the second half. 
give up actually five yards because of the five yard penalty. They were able to get back to their original line of scrimmage, but that's all they were able to get. You still want to watch the uh, quick snap to Devon or somebody underneath here. Olasoff will punt it away. And the Buckeyes let it bounce. And Nelsonville York will cover it up. Flag on the play. As it looked like uh, Austin McCullough covered the ball up for the Buckeyes. Was it Inman? It's a good play, whoever it was, because it looked like the ball may have touched him. And he went ahead and covered it up. Penalty against the Buckeyes. 5-10 to play in the fourth quarter. We're tied at 21. Block at the back on Nelsonville York. So instead of the ball out across the 30, they'll start at their own 22, it looks like. Five minutes to go in the ball game. The Buckeyes have the ball tied up. This game is living up to the billing right now, Jim. Buckeyes in the T formation. Nathan Dean under center. Kyle Moore will snap. Hand off, up the middle, Austin North will dive out to the 30 yard line. He picks up about six yards. Let's see where they spot it. He gets about eight on he that carry. He gets about eight. Buckeyes second down and two. Of course, plenty of time left, 448 to play. Buckeyes with timeouts. Nelson New York in the T formation. Second down and two, Buckeyes on their own 30. Hand off to Dustin Young on the right side, Dustin Young, and he takes it out to the 39 yard line. Nick Stanley brings him down, but he gets across the 39 yard line that time. Gain of about nine yards. Puts Dustin over 150 yards on the game tonight, rushing attack. And the Buckeyes are just looking to try to march down the field. Four minutes and 15 seconds yet to play in the game. Tied up 21-21. Dustin Young kicks it to the outside. And he dives forward to the 44-yard line. Cody Mack actually tripped him up and Mitch Ryder there uh, at the stop also. Gain of about five for Young, maybe six. Dustin did a nice job that time of just keeping, again, keeping his balance by putting his hand down to the ground. Second down and about four for the Buckeyes on their own 44 yard line. From the T formation, hand off to this side to Perkins. He's hit and he'll be taken down. Loss of about five yards were to bring up third and nine for the Buckeyes. Three twenty to play in the fourth quarter. We're tied at 21. Austin North comes in with the Buckeye play on third and nine. Buckeyes on their own 40. Huge third down play here for the Buckeyes. Don't really want to give the ball back over to the Bulldogs with under three minutes to go in the ball game. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. Dean out of the shotgun, quick pass. Austin North pulls it in, and he's going to be tripped up right at the line of scrimmage. So the Buckeyes will have to punt. Chris. Russell again on the stop for the Bulldogs. Number 22's been all over the field defensively for the Bulldogs. Dustin Young will punt it away. Devon Sharp back deep along with Skylar Schwartzel for the Bulldogs. Five seconds, he's got a rush out there now. Just did get the Flag snap comes off. in. They're saying he wasn't set. And Schwartzel, good return for Schwartzel. Another block in the back. And he's taken down, there is a flag down. There's a flag down at the Buckeye 20. There's also a flag down out at midfield. 
I don't think the Buckeyes got completely set before the snap of that ball. Then we probably have a clip on Athens at this end. That's my guess. 2.05 to play in the game. Illegal motion on Nelsonville, York. And illegal block in the back on Athens. Could take a five yard penalty and have us kick it again, I would believe. The play should have never really allowed to be happened. Official explaining things to both sides. Buckeyes 21, Bulldogs 21, two minutes, five seconds to play. So it looks like Athens re declined the illegal motion on the Buckeyes. They take the run back with the penalty for the block in the back. So Athens will have it on their own 38 yard line. Well, you saw their kicker warming up before the game. He was able to put the ball a pretty good distance. They may be just trying to figure out a way to get into field goal range here. Michael Germano at quarterback, two receivers to each side. Devon Sharp in the backfield. Germano back to pass, throws, and it is caught by Nick Stanley. Stanley. He and gets... he's in Buckeye territory at the 47. That's a first down for Athens. Right about 15 yard pass play, their most productive play of the entire second half right there. First down and 10 for Athens at the Buckeye. 47 yard line, 159 to play. Michael Germano at quarterback out of the shotgun. Option comes this side, Germano pitches it out to Sharp. And Sharp leaps over Garrison Breeze and is taken down at the 25 yard line. There is a flag down. See what the call is, officials discussing things. <laughs> Penalty on Athens. Question is, is it from the spot of the foul? Buckeyes will take the penalty. First down for Athens at the Buckeye 45 yard line. It'll be first down and nine. Big penalty against the Bulldogs that time is like you said, it racks them up, brings up a first and nine where instead of being down at the 25 yard line where Devon Sharp ended up. One forty-six to play in the game. Athens with it at the Buckeye 45 yard line. First down and nine. Michael Germano out of the shotgun. Two receivers on each side. Schwartz will in motion and Germano will keep it. And he dives down to the Buckeye 38 yard line. Zach Mays on the stop that time for the Buckeyes, but he's only a yard shy of a first down there. Clock running, 113 to play. Athens second down and one with the Buckeye 38. Athens splitting out two receivers on each side. Germano out of the shotgun. Tortoise in motion. Gives it Hand to off to Sharp. Sharp on the left side. And Sharp still going for the Bulldogs and knocked out of bounds around the 25. 
somehow he just kept dancing through there and finding daylight as he finally gets to the outside and then like you said, scoots all the way down to the 25. Buckeyes needing a big defensive stand. 47 seconds left. Athens first and 10 at the Nelsonville York 25. Michael Germano under center, Devon Sharp at tailback, Russell in motion, pitch out, Sharp, he's looking oh, to throw, and he does so, and it's picked up by Austin North. Austin North gets another huge interception for the Buckeyes defense. With 40 seconds to play in the ball game, the Buckeyes get the ball back. Well, now the decision for the Buckeyes, do they try to do anything with it? Back on their own seven yard line with 41 seconds to play. They'll probably see if the 12th someone turnover, can bust it out of there. The 12th turnover of the ball game. Six in favor of the Buckeyes, six in favor of the Bulldogs. 21-21, Jim, it couldn't be any better than this. Unless the Buckeyes find some miraculous play here with the last 40 seconds, we're gonna be looking at overtime. Hand off Dustin Young, and he's taken down after a gain of two. Clock running with 32 seconds to play. We may be heading to overtime. It doesn't look like the Bulldogs want to stop the clock. They're not expecting to get the ball back. They're managing the last seconds here of the game for overtime. It looks like the Buckeye coaching staff might be content to do the same thing at this point. And they are. They're Buckeyes do not need to run another play. Clock running at seven seconds. We're gonna have overtime here at Athens High School at the end of regulation. Nelson, New York, 21, and Athens, 21. Ready for the coin toss for overtime. Of course, this will decide who gets the ball first in overtime. Each team, I believe it's spotted at the 25. I was thinking the 20. I'm and not then, sure, actually. And then each team has a possession. It'll be interesting to see whoever has the ball first. Some people say has the they have the advantage because they put the pressure on the other team, sort of like the way we like to have the ball first in a ball game. Other people like, other people like to say that uh, getting the ball second gives you an opportunity so you know to, know what what to, do. to know what you have to do. <laughs> so I believe Athens will have it first. I have no idea what that meant. <laughs> so we start with the ball. It looks like Nelsonville York may have it. First, we're tied at 21 at the end of regulation. Four quarters isn't enough to decide this. 9-0 against 9-0. It's been the talk all week long, all month long. This matchup has been eyeballed for a long time, and this game does not dis disappoint. The first half is the Bulldogs, second half is the Buckeyes, and like you said, four quarters isn't enough. We're going into overtime. The Buckeyes will have the ball first. And as you said, if you get it first, it's oh so nice to put a touchdown on the board, to put the pressure on the other team to answer it. Let's see if the Buckeyes can do it. They spot it at the 20. First down and 10 for the Buckeyes at the 20 in overtime. Buckeyes out of the power eye. Hand off Dustin Young, and he's brought down after a short gain of one to the 19. Number 60 that time defensively for the Bulldogs. Trevor Sorrell, easy for me to say. 
as Dustin gets one yard on it. Jacob Perkins coming in with the play for Nelsonville York on second and nine in overtime. Buckeye splitting out. <clears throat> a receiver on each side, Nathan Dean out of the shotgun, takes a snap, looking to throw. Dust on, oh, it's picked off by the Bulldogs, Mitch Ryder. And so Athens now will have possession at the Buckeye 20, needing to just come up with some kind of a score. A field goal will win it for him at this point with that interception here in overtime. Big play by Mitch Ryder defensively for the Bulldogs. And how, how apropos is that? As I stated, there's been 12 turnovers in the regulation in the first four quarters, and now another big turnover in the overtime. Ball spotted at the Buckeye 20. We're in overtime. Buckeyes fell on their possession. Athens first and 10 at the Buckeye 20. Michael Germano at quarterback. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. Russell in motion. Option pitch out to Sharp. And Sharp will be taken down right around the 15. He picks up five. Kyle Moore does a nice job of getting rid of that blocker and making the stop on Devon Sharp that time. But like you said, he gets about five yards on the carry. Buckeye defense needing a stop. Second down and five for Athens with the Nelsonville York, 15. And even at this point, you're looking at about a 32-yard, 33-yard field goal attempt. Russell in motion, Germano with it. He keeps it himself up the middle. And he'll be brought down right around the 13-yard line where will bring up third down and two. First two hurt or hit by Kuhn that time defensively for the Buckeyes. And then the linebackers, Covert and Hook, come up. Buckeyes need a stop here to force the Bulldogs to make a decision. Yes, they do. Third and short. Third down and about two. With the Buckeye 13 yard line and we have a timeout taken on the field. Third down and about two inside the Buckeye 13. Michael Germano, a quarterback. Schwartzel in motion. Germano keeps it himself. He's and he's knocked it. forward, and he's going to have a first down at the Buckeye 9. We're in the first overtime. We're tied at 21. Buckeyes failed on their possession in overtime. Bulldogs now first and goal at the Buckeye 9. And so far, the Bulldogs are learning from the mistake of the Buckeyes and not putting the ball in the air here in this overtime. For the Buckeye side of the ball, it'd be nice to see it go up and the Buckeye intercept the ball just like Mitch Ryder was able to do for the Bulldogs. Option left, pitch out. And Devon Sharp, let's see where they spot it at. Right around the eight yard line, maybe seven yard line to pick up a one or two yards. Kuhn knocks him out of bounds that time. Second and goal from the Buckeye seven. Of course, Bulldogs in easy field goal range. And, that, and like you said, being the fact that uh, they were able to stop the Buckeyes, that's all they need. Germano out of the shotgun. And Germano keeps it himself and takes it down to about the six yard line, maybe five yard line where it's third and goal. Dakota Hook comes up and makes a big hit for the Buckeyes defense again. Daniel Klein looks to be hurting out on the field for Nelsonville York. Looks like that cramping is messing with him real bad. Bulldogs scored 21 points in the first half to the Buckeye zero, and then Nelsonville York scored 21 to the Bulldogs zero in the second half. We're in overtime. Daniel didn't make it quite off the field there before they've got to attend to the cramping. 
So it's going to be a delay on the field. Hopefully he'll be okay. Injury timeout. Bulldogs third and goal at the Buckeye five. Out of the eye. Handoff to Sharp. And he's going to be stopped right around the line of scrimmage. And the Bulldogs will probably try a field goal here to win it. I would assume they're coming in and try it. It's on the four yard line. So you're looking at about a 21 yard field goal attempt to win this ball game. I'm not sure who's coming in to kick it though. The unknown number 40. He will try to win it for Athens. And Nelsonville York will take a timeout. Game tied at 21. We're in overtime. Bulldogs trying to win it. Timeout on the field. Bulldogs will try to win it on a 21 yard field goal attempt in overtime. And the kick is up. And the kick is good. And the Bulldogs defeat the Buckeyes in overtime. 24-21, what a battle here tonight as the Buckeyes, like you said, come back in the second half being down 21-0 at halftime, come back and tie the ball game up. And like I said, there's just huge turnovers throughout this entire game. Six turnovers on both sides of the ball it, during regulation. And then another big turnover, Mitch Ryder gets the huge interception in overtime to clinch the Buck or the Bulldogs defensive stand. And then uh, number 40, and I apologize, we don't have a num name for number 40, comes in and kicks the 21 yard field goal to win the ball game for the Bulldogs. What a game here tonight at Athens High School. The Bulldogs 10 and 0, 5 and 0. They win the TVC Ohio Division Championship and, and they will most likely host next week in the playoffs. The Buckeyes have clinched, of course, a playoff spot. And on the probability sites, the Buckeyes have a, still with the loss, have a 94% chance of hosting next week also. Well, the defensively, the Buckeyes really turned it around after halftime. You know, the first half, the Bulldogs had 203 total yards. At the end of regulation, the Bulldogs had 257 total yards. They, the Buckeye defense held them to 40, or held them to 54 yards in the second half. Just an excellent job by the Buckeye defense. Then overall, the Bulldogs end up rushing the ball for 101 yards, and they get uh, 156 in the air. Most of that obviously from Germano. He ends up eight of 14 for 130 yards. 141 yards, and then Devon Sharp had one completion for 15 yards also. And on the uh, rushing side of the ball, the Bulldogs end up with 101 yards. You know, you've got Germano had 17, Mitch Ryder had nine, Russell had four, Schwartzel had a three, and the majority of it was Sharp on the ground with 68 yards. When you look at the uh, Buckeyes side of the ball and uh, the statistics here, you know, overall, the Buckeyes, uh, again, you know, had decent stats, but they only had 120 yards in the first half. And the Buckeyes come out shooting much harder in the second half where the Buckeyes, uh, Nathan Dean, goes eight of nine for 108 yards in the third quarter alone, ends up 17 of 24. And about 100 and... 192 yards offensive uh, passing attack for Nathan. And the majority of that actually goes to uh, Austin North in the second half. He has five catches for 58 yards, a total of 68 yards on six catches. But you've got Perkins with a catch. You had Handa with a catch, Breeze with a catch. Uh, Freer had three catches. And then uh, Daniel Klein had two catches and Dustin Young had two big catches for the Buckeyes offensively. So again, he throws the ball to seven different receivers. And on the rushing side of things, the Bulldog, or the Buckeyes end up with 177 yards. Dustin Young has 156 of those. 
North has 17, and Perkins had four. So, you know, a great comeback here for the Buckeyes. Falls a bit short in overtime, but I would venture to say majority of people sitting here at halftime wouldn't have given the Buckeyes even a chance to be in the ball game. What a great comeback, but Nelsonville York, of course, they showed a lot of characters. You mentioned down 21 nothing at halftime. The Buckeyes came back to not only tie it, but had it opportunities had a couple more possessions after tying it to try to take the lead yeah and like i said really the story of the the game all over was turnovers on both sides of the ball like i said the buckeyes end up with six interceptions the bulldogs have six turnovers during regulation and the one big turnover in overtime and that that really sealed the deal for the bulldogs the bulldogs of course get the Doc Croner trophy back, the traveling trophy. The Buckeyes had won the last seven games against Athens, but the Bulldogs winning tonight. Of course, coming into this game the last three years, the games came down to the final minute with Nelsonville York winning all three, but tonight it came down to an overtime game and Athens pulls it out. You know, really, this, this game, again, at halftime, most folks would say this game wasn't living up to expectations, but in the second half, the Buckeyes turned everything around and uh, gave the fans exactly what they expected out here. And like you were saying, though, both these teams are moving on to the playoffs. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, the Athens Bulldogs will be hosting, a, more than likely will be hosting a uh, playoff game. It'll be interesting to see how the other teams fared around the area to see if the Buckeyes will actually end up hosting a game or not. Uh, like you said, they still had a 94% chance of hosting, even with the loss here tonight. But the Buckeyes, uh, just great pride in their football, in their football program. You gotta really take the hats off to the coaching staff to get the kids turned around at halftime and get them refocused and even have themselves in this ball game at the end of the night. What a game it was here at Athens High School. Bulldogs come away with the victory. Twenty-four twenty-one in overtime. Again, Athens led twenty-one nothing at halftime, and then the Buckeyes scored twenty-one points in the second half and held the Bulldogs scoreless. But then in overtime, Buckeyes fell on their first attempt, and the Bulldogs able to drive down, get it just inside the five-yard line, right around the five, and they nail a twenty-one-yard field goal for a twenty-four to twenty-one win. Again, the Bulldogs 10-0 on the regular season, 5-0 in the Ohio Division of the TVC. The Buckeyes dropped to 9-1 overall and 4-1 in league play. Once again, the final score here at Athens High School in another classic. It was the Athens Bulldogs 24 and the Nelsonville York Buckeyes 21 in overtime. For Chance Fox on camera and Ray Spouts, this is Jim McCumber saying so long, everybody. <laughs>